First up, what is a battery distribution box? That's what the SPD-1 is. It is a box into which you can plug multiple power sources, batteries or other AC sources that convert to DC. And then from there, you can power everything in your sound bag or on your small sound card. So let's talk about this in more particular terms. Why does it matter? Why would you ever want something like this? Well, the thing that it does that's really helpful are a few. Number one, it can take power from multiple sources. So it can it has two four pin inputs. So you can plug in two separate batteries. Plus it has a USB-C input where you can bring in another power source. So what that allows you to do is that you can hot swap. So if one of the batteries is running low, you can change that one out, even if you're mid take, if you're still recording. And so you can power basically all day. So it gives you some redundancy there and some safety in terms of continuous power throughout the entire day. It also has two separate power groups. What, it, what that means in practical terms, two separate switches, locking toggle switches. So you can't accidentally turn them on or off, first of all. But secondly, you can power down all of your auxiliary things, the things that you don't need for maybe some part of the day, but keep your primary recorder still running. So the way this works is you would presumably plug in all of your wireless into group number two and your recorder into group number one. That way, if you're doing some pickup shots with a boom mic and you don't need the wireless for a period of time, you can turn off the wireless and save all that battery power. With the SPD-1 in particular, you can closely monitor the battery data if your batteries support telemetry, if there are smart batteries. And in fact, a lot of us are using smart batteries for our sound bags at this point. These are the HiQ or the Inspired Energy style batteries. And they provide telemetry for voltage, the amount of current that's currently being drawn, battery temperature, and even the number of recharge cycles. So you understand how old this particular battery is, which is also probably going to tell you a little bit about how quickly it discharges or you need to recharge. The battery temp is important, especially if you're working in really cold environments or really hot environments, that will also affect battery life. And then of course, you wanna make sure the voltage is right. It gives you that information and also it gives you a sense for how much current your devices are drawing. So you can have a pretty good idea of how quickly they're going to drain those batteries. So to get a little bit more detail, let's talk about what I see as kind of some of the strengths of the SPD-1. First of all, it allows you to connect three power sources and two of those are four pin inputs and then also a USB-C input. Now for the USB-C input, I would be careful. It's, it's not gonna be all USB battery banks that are gonna be able to power that. So you'll want to take a look at the Deity's SPD-1 manual just to make sure that you have a battery or that you get a battery that will work for this particular setup. Now, of course, as I mentioned, you can hot swap batteries. So if you have, say, two batteries to those four pin inputs and one of them's running low, you just pop it off, pop a new one in, and you're in a good spot. It continues to power the devices that you have connected, assuming that you're not drawing so much current that a single battery can't support it. So there's still some things you have to think about, but for most of us, that's gonna be just fine. Now, of course, the box then has six outputs on the back that allow you to take the power from those batteries from the SPD-1 and send it to your different devices. So for example, in my case, I have a cable that goes over to my Sound Devices 888 recorder and then also powers the wireless that I have attached to it. These outputs are unregulated, meaning that they'll draw as much current as they need. And they're on two separate groups, as I mentioned before. The first group has two outputs and the second group has four outputs. As I mentioned before, the switches are really nice. They are locking, so to turn them on or off, you have to pull them out to some extent, and then you can turn them on or off from there. So really nice feature. Now for each of the batteries that do provide telemetry data, you'll be able to see the battery temperature, the voltage, again, the current or amperage, and the cycle count, how many times it's been recharged. And so the reason that's important is that if you're using something that's been char recharged 500 times, <laughs> that means that its ability to hold a charge for the same amount of time that a new battery would is, is diminished pretty significantly. So it's probably gonna run out a little bit faster. The SPD-1 does provide over voltage protection. So its operating range is 12 to 18 volts and the over voltage cutoff kicks in at 18 volts and the under voltage kicks in at seven volts. You also have front access to a five volt, two amp USB-A port. So if you need to charge your phone or something like that, that's a possibility there. A lot of us uh, need to use either phones or tablets to operate some of our equipment. So it's nice to have that on the front as well. 
The box does have a metal housing, and we did some EMF testing here. Didn't notice anything major over at the vents. There's a tiny bit of EMF that comes out, but nothing that seemed to affect our recording or mess with the cleanliness of our recordings. For RF tests, we did power up five different wireless microphone transmitters plus a Comtech IFB at the same time in close range to the box itself and didn't seem to pick up any sort of RF interference. So things seem really clean there. It does have a 1.1 inch color screen that gives you all this telemetry data. Again, the locking toggle switches, dual quarter inch threaded mounts on the top and bottom and a reversible mounting clip. So just be a little bit careful when you're changing that out. The housing is aluminum. I did scratch it a little bit when I was trying to get that mounting clip in, but it works great. It is priced at $269 US for the box itself. And it does come with one of the battery cups and then all of the other cables you buy separately. And there are a variety of different cables available. As I mentioned, there's the battery cup for the Inspired Energy or Hi-Q style intelligent batteries. There is also this one that's interesting. This is a essentially, I think, a ground lift. Um, so what this does is this is going to be for more consumer-oriented wireless kits that have grounding issues, and a lot of those do, actually. <laughs> so this will filter that out, in essence. There is also this interesting cable here that has three USB-C outputs, which can be really useful for powering wireless transmitters that can take a USB-C input. Of course, there are more common cables, like, for example, this is a four pin to four pin Hiroshi. So use those a lot. And then there's also a four pin to DC barrel cable, a series of those. In any case, we'll put a link to the Deity site where you can see all the different cables that are available, which should work for pretty much any device in your sound bag. Now, a few notes here. Number one, the four pin to three USB connectors cable is not really made for powering recorders like a Mix Pre or a Zoom F6. Just so you're aware, it won't supply enough power for those to be fully powered. In other words, the Mix Pre 3, I could get it to turn on using this, but it was in that low power mode where you can only record with, I, I can't remember all the details, but I don't think you can use phantom power, um, so on and so forth. So I'd love to see a new cable from Deity that allows you to power maybe a Zoom F6 or a Mix Pre. That'd be pretty cool. And then finally, as far as I can tell, there's no sort of individual output filtering. So if you are getting any sort of ground issues, you'll want to use the, the little ground lift box for the particular device that's having the ground issues. All right, so overall, the SPD-1 looks like a nice uh, battery distribution box. And what I'm going to do is I haven't done thorough, thorough testing. This is a relatively new one to me. I've had it for a couple of weeks. What I will promise is I'll go ahead and continue to use it. And if I encounter any issues, I will put that in a comment down below, pinned to the top, and give you an update as time goes on. Hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you've not already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.